What's up guys? Got a quick review of uh, another dam design product. Uh, you've seen a lot of dam design knives come through the channel, come on to the group of doing lots of giveaways and it started off because dam designs was an awesome sponsor and they uh, gave us a bunch of knives to get away, give away. And, uh, but when I got them in hand, I gotta tell you, I was way surprised. I mean, uh, was thinking maybe this is just a gimmick got you know somebody's pushing a bunch of knives and they're going to be okay quality uh, i gotta tell you honestly these are knives i carry and and that i really really like they're made out of premium materials it's the dam design basilisk and this is real similar to the yokai that i've already showed the difference is the blades so this won't be a long review but the blade styles are the biggest change here um, I've always been a drop point guy till about last year when I started collecting Medfords and uh, they really got me into Tontos. I really like the functionality of a Tonto blade, but I still love a good old drop point. Like, you know, on a Sabenza, I think it ought to be a drop point. I like their Tontos, don't get me wrong, but I still like the classic look of their drop points. These knives have unbelievable actions on them. I mean, they just they're just butter. I mean, this one ain't even near broke in yet, but look at this one right here. This is, this is my personal knife here. I mean, that is just gravy, butter and gravy. That's what you want a flipper knife to do, in my opinion. Just every single time drops like butter. Love it. This one's brand new. It'd take a, I haven't oiled it or anything. Uh, this is kind of a demo knife for the group and for the channel. Um, but the, it's got the marbled carbon fiber, which, you know, I haven't seen a lot of, and I really, really like that finish. It gives you some good purchase, all titanium hardware. This is kind of a cross between a frame lock and a liner lock. It's actually labeled on this box as a liner lock. I would absolutely call this a frame lock. And, you know, in my vocabulary, this is a frame lock knife. Um, but you get the benefits of cost savings with these knives. These knives are absolutely hard used, fantastic ergos. The ergos are probably one of the best parts, along with the M390 steel. You're not giving up anything with this knife. I mean, this is this is what an ADC is. I mean, this knife is easily taken apart. There's no proprietary hardware. You didn't break the bank to buy it. Uh, we actually have a 20% off discount coupon currently in the group. I mean, what manufacturer gives you a 20% coupon? I've never seen it. That's, that's a stupid, crazy discount. Look at the stealth lanyard holes on there. I mean, that's just killer. Instead of having a big old Duke hole run right through here, that's, those are good details. So I, I messaged uh, the owner and I told him that, you know, I love your knives. Uh, they're fantastic. I carry the yokai all the time. Um, I'd like to see a thumb stud knife, even though I, I don't dislike flippers at all, but I really, really have a fondness for thumb stud knives. And I'll be damned if he didn't send me a picture of a prototype they're about to put into production. I mean, they, they just, they're staying a step ahead of the game. They're giving us what we want. They're asking us what we want, and they're giving us what we want, and I appreciate that. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that knife. I posted it in the group today. Uh, it's just kind of a similar looking knife, but it has a sick looking, kind of Warren Cliff style blade uh, with the thumb stud opener. And it's just a beautiful knife. Some type of different carbon fiber here I've never seen. It's kind of like rocky. Uh, they're just pushing the envelope, man. They're you know, th these are not a Benchmade or a Spyderco. It's not a huge company. It's it's a it's a guy out here beating the bushes and finding out what people want and giving it to us. And I respect that. And uh, I'll absolutely showcase his knives. As long as the quality stays like it is now, uh, they'll stay in our group and they'll stay advertised on our channel. We appreciate it. Anyway, back to the story. This is the Basilisk. Pretty much the same knife as the Yokai except for the blade. But... For a production knife, look at that. I don't know if you can get the payoff on that shiny blade. It's just beautiful. The grind is sexy. I mean, 
the purchase on these knives is great. I mean, the ergonomics, you can't even tell it even has a pocket clip on it when you're holding it. It's in the perfect spot. Let's, you already kind of know the size because we've already done the yokai. I've seen several of you in the group have already bought a yokai uh, and, and the basilisk. This is the bench made proper. It's a little bit bigger than that. But the bench made proper is not what I call a small knife. It's probably a more of a medium sized knife to me. Let's put it up against the what I call the perfect EDC ever built. <laughs> Very similar in size. Handle is almost the same. Very similar. Of course, that's the Spider Coach Lease Bully, my favorite knife. Let's put it up against the Strider. Strider built by Medford. They all love it when I say that. And what else we got here? Got Paisan sitting here. Right, I'm not gonna take any measurements because we've already done the yokai and, and you got a pretty good idea of what we got here. Um, anyway, we appreciate Adrian and Damn Designs and everything they've done for us and, and we appreciate them, the, the, the knives they make. For, forget the knives they've given us. We appreciate the opportunity that um, uh, they've given us to buy a quality knife for a good price. Um, I'm not one of these guys that sits there and beats up. I'm only buying American. Yeah, I mean, I would like to buy all American. That would be my preference, sure. Uh, but there's some things, man. Uh, sometimes we got to go abroad to get what we want, to get it in the price point that we want. I can tell you right now that I don't think anybody can argue that Spider Spider Code Tai Chung is smoking the golden Colorado plant. I mean, it's. It's just, they just produce better knives, better quality, better finishes. Uh, it's, it's not what it used to be. I mean, we used to see something said made in China on it or made in Taiwan. It was a little trinket piece of junk. Those days are long gone. These folks over there are really putting the pedal to the metal. They're building some quality knives. They're building other quality things as well. So that, that bias to me is, is gone. Uh, yeah, I would much rather it see made in the USA. I wish we could produce things like this. Uh, of this quality for this price. We just were not able to do that at this point in time. Anyway, this is the uh, Damn Designs Basilisk. Uh, the, I'll post the offer code, the coupon code in the comments or in the description, I'm sorry. Uh, the code is all capital letters, EDC Knife BST, same as the group, but it's all one word, EDC Knife BST. Uh, you get a discount on everything on the website except the Oni. That's a completely separate knife from this discount. Uh, they have some really cool Nux. Uh, see, I have one in my pocket right now. I carry one every day. They have some really cool uh, lanyard beads. They have one that's the ghost of uh, that was on Pac-Man slides over. I want to get one of those. It's super cool. But this, this thing is super light. I, I forget it's in my pocket all the time. You know, on the bottom of your cargo shorts, you can't hardly carry anything in those things with any weight because it'll sling back and forth. This doesn't, doesn't give me any trouble. But Adrian posted today, they actually made a smaller uh, pry bar, the same one as this one, but smaller. And I'm super interested in getting my hands on that. And I'm sure you've all seen the new pry bar he's made. And that thing is unbelievable. I'm looking forward to some great things and, a, and a, a great partnership with Damn Designs for years to come. They keep spitting out products like this and we'll, we'll keep buying them. Anyway, that's it guys. Y'all have a good evening. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your support.